let's go what's up everybody gotta make sure my nails are clean honey what's up y'all to me erica and we are down here girl go girl go 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 girl go girl go girl i was just reading a note that quincy wrote um about the media and his family and his mother and the book and you know things that he said quincy was just basically saying that you know the our mother's cause of death has already been established it was established twice so we'd like to see the first establishment okay quincy you know there's one thing that some kids might have a, they might be you know stuck in a dilemma when it comes to like supporting their parents right now i can understand him coming out and saying hey y'all my mom the book that's not her book you know matter of fact shit quincy's like matter of fact she gave everything to me i have everything that's how i know it ain't real because i have the stuff that she wrote and none of it is what she's given me that's what i that's what that's what i mean unless that's not true you understand what i'm saying but i feel like there was um some some book um being written a diary or something something being documented um and um i think somebody oh uh what's his name said uh if there is anything it's more than likely in federal custody um that's what i'll be sure said um <clears throat> you know, Quincy used the word spectacle. Yeah, it's a spectacle. Your father, your stepfather's life is a spectacle. He wanted it like that. He should go out with a bang. He should go out with a bang. He should. He should. He was the ultimate party boy, just like Hugh Hefner, just like Hugh Hefner, inviting men and women to come up and abuse other men and women rich people to abuse people the bodyguard that this last woman came out and said the daily mail they got they got a hold of his fucking instagram before he put it on private he runs a porn company now doesn't look good for you as a character witness as a character at all not even a character witness you are you are named in the complaint you a bodyguard how lucky were you to be able to get in on what your boss was doing, be able to benefit from aring women? The description, I don't even want to go through it because I don't know who's eating or what, but what they described, I believe every minute of it. I believe it. I don't believe nobody is not telling the truth about their experience with puffy and i don't know if anybody notices everybody seems to have these very violent experiences with him and for some reason y'all think jesse and delilah are exempt from that hmm i even think christian and justin were abused like i feel like i feel like their introduction to their manhood was more than likely abuse they probably came into it very early, especially the ones who ain't kin to him. Especially ones, the ones that like Quincy and Ava Baroni, she done made her TikTok. She done disabled all her, the little white girl that used to be with Justine and Delilah, Ava Baroni. And she came on screen and said she was Ava Baroni Combs and Mr. Combs adopted her. Yeah, she's on TikTok. But she's made all her comments, disabled all of her comments. She's still around. I'm sure she has some stories to tell too. Um, yeah, everybody will speak sooner or later. It just takes knowing that the fact that that woman didn't even know that there was a video. She had the 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 crazy part is that woman had an experience. It has scarred her for her life now she grows up and this man is being investigated for his crimes and now somebody's coming to you saying there's a video of you that when he did that to you however many years ago he took a video of it and is passing it around this is the reason why men defend stuff like that 
they've been, they've watched it. They've seen other men do it. They've watched it and not said anything. The irony is that no one wants to tell. That's, that's, that's the part of the story that like amazes me. Is that no one thinks to take out the villain. It's so weird. It's like no one wants to be as evil as the villain. Evil. But see, like to me, I don't even feel that taking out a villain is evil. I feel like that's restoration. Bitch, call me Thanos. I don't care. I feel like that's restoration. I'm sorry. He's harming people. See, I couldn't. That's what I'm saying. I there There's some reason that some people are put into those situations. Because I feel like if I was under that much duress, I have the capability to terminate someone and not be like, oh, I'm so scared. No, it's me or you, and it's going to be you. And to be under that much duress, like coming into a home and a man is like violent, screaming and hollering, da, da, da. Mm -mm. A slow death for you, motherfucker. I promise you. And I don't understand the righteousness behind acting like you wouldn't kill a villain. Girl, I'd take his ass out. Everybody's capable. I'm sorry. That's just who, that's just me. That's just me. I could not, there's a reason. Yep. The universe has always said, don't put her in any situation because she'll end up in jail because she will vanquish the demon. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I would. See that, like, I don't, the same thing. I've asked a question about Suge Knight too. Y'all was so scared of Suge, but nobody was scared enough to take him out. You didn't fear him enough to take him out, even though you have seen him cause harm to hundreds of people. Y'all ain't no killers. Girl, y'all ain't no killers, but these niggas can be killers and run around here killing everybody. But y'all ain't no killers, girl. What did DMX say? I ain't no killer, but don't push me. I'm serious, girl, because everybody is capable, girl. I would, girl, puppy would have been out of here. I'm sorry. Yes, and I'm saying it. Like, I don't understand. Like, what? Oh, my God. Why would you say that? I, it's you or me, girl. It's going to be you. It's not going to be me. That's one of the reasons why I had to flee Atlanta, because... Nigga, keep fucking with me. It's your mother is going to be flower bringing and slow singing and pouring libations in remembrance of you every time she has a glass of wine. Fuck with me. <laughs> oh, yes. I had to flee because it was going to either be I had a feel I literally had a feeling that that man was going to terrorize me until one of us was returned to Mother Earth. So let me leave because while I come from a family who the motherfuckers, they don't stand up for people who get abused. One thing they, they are liable to do is take you out. It's within all of us. So, and, and if you are under that much duress, all the people around him, not one person. Also, when I was reading Quincy's statement, I was like, if I was Puffy's child, I would be the one like, Oh, you don't see Erica Combs at the courthouse. Girl, for what? At the courthouse for what? What I've heard, if I heard that my father was running around doing the things that Sean Combs is doing, it wouldn't be no support. What? And I would be down at the courthouse actively changing my name so that I can live a regular life without being connected to someone as vile and disgusting as Sean Combs. Girl, talk about not wanting to be connect. I'm like Elon Musk, child, bitch. I'm changing gender. I'm changing my name, everything, bitch. You're not going to be able to connect me to a motherfucker as vile as Elon Musk, as Sean Combs, as Bill Cosby, as Brian McKnight, all of them. Yeah, Brian McKnight, you in there with them too. Uh, we got a bucket for you. Girl.
Janice Combs, girl, I would have been took my son out. I would have took him out. I would have took him out. I'm sorry, baby, but you can't hurt no more women. Whatever you giving these women, it's right to the neck. He told me to give it to him. It was, I guess it was an accidental overdose. I don't know, but that's what he told me to give it to him. And I was so, I was under so much duress. I just did. I just complied with what he told me to do. And he told me to whatever was in the syringe to put it in his neck. That's what he said to me. So that's what I did. Girl, if y'all don't start claiming insanity out this motherfucker, what? He had me under so much duress. I went nuts and he asked me to do it and I did it. And that's what I did. I don't know. I left the room afterwards. Now, if that was by accident and you want to get me for involuntary manslaughter, okay. Well, that's what we're just going to have to do. Baby, I would be in that mother. My mug shot would be like this. And then everybody would be like, whatever they say she did, she fucking did it. Because I'd be like this. <laughs> in my mug shot. Looking to the side like, yeah, bitch, I did it. <laughs> That's why the universe takes certain people out of situations and out of industries and out of loops. They take them out because they know some people shouldn't be in those loops because they are capable. You, if, let me tell you something. The way even I even think about, you know who comes up in my head? Tokyo Tony. The way she be going off at people, the way I would just... I'm a mutable sign, bitch. I will change and adapt to my environment. And if it means to survive, and if it means to form into you so that I can reflect to you what you are showing me, I will do it. Tokyo Tony wouldn't be no. She would have, she would see herself in me, bitch. When I tell you I would reflect back to that hoe, when she gets in her little demonic, bitch, I can shape shift too. <laughs> Okay, I can shape shit too, bitch. <laughs> Girl. I was just thinking about Quincy. Like, girl, I don't understand how y'all supporting that man. I would not be at no courthouse. But Christian, I could see him up there. And Justin, I can see him up there. Quincy, you trying to act like, okay, fine. I could see you up there too. Yes, the man raised you. But I know y'all have seen some shit you ain't, you have. You should have never seen. I know you've probably had experiences and seen things and observed things and heard things you should have never heard. But to be in support of him, just like I said the other day, they talking about Bell and Puffy is liable. Like people think like, oh, he's so ego driven and so full of himself. He wouldn't take himself out. That's something somebody with an ego would do. Would take everybody out and then himself. You ain't getting nothing. That's the ego. That's that's like full fledged. You think he's so arrogant and full of himself that he would want to live? Nah, nah. Take everybody out, and then, like Jeffrey Epstein, go to the the best fucking plastic surgeon, have your whole fucking face changed, and go on an island, move on an island somewhere, and don't don't you say a fucking word because you got away with it, motherfucker. We faked your death. And now you off in an island somewhere with a whole new face. You don't even, Jeffrey Epstein's walking around, bitch, among us. And don't nobody fucking know it. While the woman, hello, that's what I'm saying. Um, That woman, they keep talking to that, talking about that woman, Coram, Coram, Coram. Let something happen to Puffy and then they flip it and make it all about, oh, it was you and all this other shit. Now, Ghislaine Maxwell, right? Jeffrey Epstein is dead and Ghislaine Maxwell is doing time. Now she is a bitch too. She wasn't under duress. She did that shit like she wanted to do that shit. It makes them feel powerful. And it's crazy because they feel powerful when people are the most vulnerable, when people are, aren't able to defend themselves. That's how you know, why wouldn't you take somebody? Somebody is taking advantage of children, animals, um, people under, under the influence, that, that's vulnerability. And then combined sex, that's ultra, ultra vulnerability. 
And now you're using all of that and you're harming people with that. You're weak. Like, I didn't, I don't understand why nobody, I don't understand. I bitch, I would have been there in there plotting. Okay, this is how we about to do this because this is crazy. Did you see what he did the other night? Okay, y'all, we cannot, this cannot. Kamora, Misa, Sarah, um, Daphne, Carisha. I don't understand it. Jesse, Delilah, bitch. I would have been, see, I would have been, they would have been like, oh, that's the evil twin. One of the twins didn't show up. The one that got the eyebrows just like him, she didn't show up. Mm -mm. Yeah, I would have been, I would have reflected back to him what he was showing those people. He would have seen the devil when I tell you, bitch. Girl, we come, when I tell you, because we, all of us, all of us come from both. All of us have the capability to be either or, to lean into that. I mean, Star Wars is a great story about that. You've been raised up and then you have, you are given either the light or the dark or the gray. And what side do you want to serve? You, you have the choice to do that. The same ability as you have the ability to pray for somebody, every single person, if under enough duress could take somebody out of here, especially if their life depended on it. When you are in survival mode, I don't give a fuck if you think i don't care what you think about it i don't care what it looks like if i had to do something to survive and that meant somebody had to leave up out of here i'm just gonna have to do the time and if that meant saving a bunch of people i used to have this book that i used to take to parties called a book of questions and it was questions like would you terminate someone to save a hundred people would you kill someone if it could save a hundred people and you and then you have to think like well is that an innocent person like what was they doing was they evil was it what what were they doing oh this is a person like puffy you know i wouldn't there would be no like oh i'm gonna virtue signal and be like no because the Lord and God and forgiveness and I'm turning the cheek of the Lord as I sit at the right hand of God. Girl, no, I'm taking that motherfucker out. Anything else? What's the next question? That's what I, I don't understand. I don't understand. What is that about? Like, there are some people that be like, they're, they're like literally people like, to me, I feel like Puffy just didn't have that right person in his circle to be like, he needs to be taken out of here. How did you harm people for so long? Russell Simmons, another one. They need to line the buckets up for you niggas. I said it. When I tell you, I said it. I could not. Y'all remember? I said, I cannot wait until the Me Too movement hits the music industry. I said, I can't wait, especially hip hop. I said it. I said it. <laughs> I said it. I sure did. I said, I couldn't wait. Now is the time. Now is the hour, bitch. <laughs> Line the motherfucking buckets up. Line them up. But yeah, Quincy, I don't understand. Aubrey O'Day says she was groomed by Diddy during making of the band. I was sent out of the studio because my toes weren't prop properly polished. Aubrey O'Day is telling her story. The Danity Kane alum opened up about working with Diddy um, during her time on MTV making a band in the early 2000s and says she was groomed by the disgraced music mogul. With Diddy, I saw multiple real things, sides of him. I don't know who I was even talking to, who was sober. There was always an element of something going on, O'Day said on the latest episode of Renee Graziano's Crisis Queen podcast per the Daily Mail. She added that Diddy was very outspoken and opinionated when it came to her appearance. He's on camera saying how much he hates it. Then off camera, he's telling me that all the ways that I needed to be groomed properly, like down to my toenails. I was sent out of the studio session one time because my toes weren't properly polished. 
She said, Diddy referred to her as the looker of the band and then spoke about alleged abuses he experienced. He, he experienced. After coming off of Diddy, there's not many people you can go into a room with and they can and get that type of high from. Grooming is a process. They just don't abuse you on day one. They make you feel like you get little bits of things that make you attracted and excited. And then once they've got your attention, they let you know about yourself in different ways. It's like the military. They break you down and build you back up into a soldier they need for you to be the country they need for you to be fighting for. As for Diddy's recent arrest for sex trafficking, racketeering, and prostitution charges, O'Day said she believes that there are still more victims that haven't come forward. There's a lot more crazy shit. As this unfolds, more people will be heard. What are your thoughts on Aubrey O'Day, what she had to say? This is on the Jasmine brand. This was posted 44 minutes ago. There's already 250 comments. Let's just see what y'all are saying. The first one, don't come for me. I've always felt her problem with Diddy was he didn't hold her in a high regard like she thought she should have been. This is a woman. This is a woman saying that this man who has abused people before they even got into the studio with Danny D. Kane, that this man didn't like you the way that you thought that you should have been liked. Well, you know what? Hallelujah for the women who wanted to be picked and didn't get picked. Don't you feel honored to not have been picked? Don't you see how the rejection was your protection? Honestly, from day one, Aubrey has made it clear that her biggest issue with Diddy was in Danity, Danity Kane's contracts, the money, and how he made them feel about themselves. She has used every opportunity to allude to the fact that she knows more than what she's saying. If this is an example of knowing more, it only comes off as an attention grab. That's not grooming, that's artist development, right? And so is go in there and sit in there and I'm gonna bring somebody in there for you. That's, that's artist development too. You, you'd be surprised on what they say what artist development is, motherfucker. <laughs> She's been speaking up for years, so now maybe y'all will listen. This isn't new. She needs to do a full breakdown now that people are listening to understand. There will be more she will say soon. Trust me. She's getting herself emotionally ready. So y'all never participated in something as a team and had to wear your hair or makeup or nails a certain way so all team members were coordinated like this is another woman. I weep for y'all. It's sad. There's a point where she felt like she was better than the other girls because of the relationship or situationship she had with the diddler. So don't start that grooming shit now. Let me tell you something. He was doing it so well. The way that he would act with Aubrey on screen, you would think he was fucking her. Go back and watch making a van. Go back and watch and you want to show all your skin. You you neck you want to be naked. But the whole concept of Danity Kane was like when it comes together, it's one. Puff's going hard on the group, and then all of a sudden he singles me out and starts going on and on about how unhappy he is with me. And I just feel like nothing that I do, he's ever happy with. Can I ask a question? How, what do you want to look like though? Fit in this situation. You like big hair though. I don't you like do big like hair. big hair. You I like big like, hair. Puff, you you need like to a look, you like a lot of makeup and all that. Actually, I don't. I don't like big hair. I don't like certain makeup. I'm very flexible with what you want to do. And I've worked. You even told me, review the things you do and pay attention to what the problem is. So I see what I do and I see, ooh, that was not a good look. Let me fix that. I read the things that people say. If you're not happy, you hate me, then why you have me here? I don't have to have you here. That's one thing that we can make clear. That's one thing we can make clear. But I don't have to have you here. I'm trying. I have you here. I have you here because I feel you talented. But don't get it twisted. I'm starting to think about why do I have you here. Okay, so you clear on that though. Check this out. You clear on that. You understand now. I'm I'm asking myself why do I have you here. So I move on to something else. So no, and I'll give you the answer soon. 
All right? And you may not be here then. Okay. Before it gets to that. And anybody that want to go with you, they could go too. Don't get it twisted, man. It gets dark and lonely. It does, trust me. She seemed like she was so agitated and annoyed with just everything. It's like, don't talk to me because what he was doing on screen was making it seem like him and Aubrey had something going on. Girl, go back and watch it. You don't, you motherfuckers act like you don't know what grooming looks like. And then because we live in a society where y'all put so much value on how much attention a man gives you, you think that, oh, he was giving her attention. So she must been fucking him. She must have been fucking him. No. Go watch. Go watch it. And Gene Deal, I really want to find what Gene Deal said about what Puffy said about Danny D. Kane. Let's go find. I just want to find that real quick and see if I can find it. Let me go to um, let me go to uh what's this called? Instagram. Here, here, here it is. Diddy, Gene Deal says Diddy's disturbing plans for Danity Kane members. They probably gonna go after him. I think Danity Kane. I, I think a couple of them didn't sign it. And boy, oh boy, they probably gonna go after him too. Cause I heard him, and I'm giving you this, Aubrey. He sit up there and he said in front of a lot of people, we were in the studio. Did you hear him? He said, I'm giving to I'm giving this to you, Aubrey. Did you hear him? I'm gonna just let you listen to him again. This is one of Puffy's bodyguards, ex-bodyguards who's been talking about him for years. Listen. Cause I heard him and I'm giving you this, Aubrey. He sit up there and he said in front of a lot of people, we were in the studio. And I said something to him and walked out the studio. He said, yo, I'm a drug that off and picked him out and, and, and picked him out to my picked him out to my neck. He said, I'm a drug them out. I'm gonna get them all on drugs and I'm gonna pimp their ass out to my neck. I was like, do somebody kids and walked out. And it's somebody that heard me. It's somebody that heard me. I mean, well, it's not only somebody that heard me. It's somebody that I know who was in the studio at the time that happened, and I still talk to him today. And we were just talking about that the other day. He didn't move back to Indiana. I don't know why. I'm going to give you that one. He said he was going to drug them all out and pimp them out. I think Danny D. Kane. He said he was going to get them drugged out. Oh, he did that to Cassie. Got her addicted and pimped her out. Trafficked her. And y'all in the comments talking about, she just didn't like that he wasn't giving her the attention. Go back and watch it. He gave her a lot of attention. So much attention that there's people in the comments who think they have a sex, had a sexual relationship. Go back and watch Making of a Band. You can watch clips all over. People post clips. Sure did. Boy, oh boy. They probably gonna go after him too. Cause I heard him and I'm giving you this, Aubrey. He sit up there and he said, I'm giving you this, Aubrey. A creep. It's weird. You guys are weird. I don't know. Somebody said, is that a crime? No, grooming is not a crime. No. Go send your kid over to that man's house that likes to talk to him and give him candy. That's like, I don't, I don't, you know what? Um, I, I feel like I have to explain stuff, but then I feel like, no, nah. because y'all be grown adults. But I just know, like, 
the environments that you must come from. And that is the reason why we live in a world with how many people and what some people think is weird. Some people don't think it's weird. You have to consider where they came from, the environment they came from. There is a video going around of little Wayne, like bragging in a studio full of people, how baby had him R-A-P-E-D when he was 11 years old. And proud, rolling weed up, proud, proud to be R-A-P-E-D. That's why I said, it's like, you don't, the, the culture of these men, like a lot of them, they want to be able to have, a, go to a puffy party. That's why like in their minds, like in their minds, like it's like the ultimate party boy, single man, having sex, like, just a rock star, like the whole image. They want to be a part of that. So they are going to defend his behavior because in their minds, he is a symbol of black male success. So he, he did it. He surpassed it. He did this. He died, da, 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 all of the, all of the things. But even when he gets after he does all the shit he does, even when he's taken down, they run, revert back to, oh, my God, this black man. No, he broke the barriers, broke racial barriers, right? Made a dent in the culture. But on, on the underground, he was he is extremely violent. They say he don't even want to eat in jail. You shouldn't want to eat because if I was the goddamn cook down to the penitentiary, nigga. Who's in here? Puffy? <laughs> Girl, I wouldn't do that because I want you to make it to trial, motherfucker. I wouldn't do that. I'd make you, I'd give you some laxative though. The way you was up in everybody else's ass, I'd have your ass getting blown out the other way. Yeah, be Puffy. I'd give him some laxatives, girl. So you could have violent diarrhea. Mm -hmm. I sure would. No, you're going to stand trial, motherfucker. You, I'm, I'm, I'm actually shocked that no one took him out. I just don't understand it. It's like, to, and then you're like, you're a bodyguard. So to me, I feel like a bodyguard sees all the things. I feel like if I was a bodyguard and I saw some shit going on, I don't think that I can protect people doing bad things. I don't think that I can watch people be like, nefarious and just like sit back and watch it and even um join in like the bodyguard did with puffy and he's named in that lawsuit big joe sherman mm, who runs a porn business now i worked with puffin over 24 years it don't matter what was you doing when you was with him because there hasn't been a moment in his career where he stopped and became some devout worshiper of abstinence and non-partying. So whether you were with him uh, two years ago, 12 years ago, 24 years ago, motherfucker, what was you doing when you was with him? And then when you see these niggas, especially the bodyguards that aren't attractive, this is your only opportunity and you gonna take it. And you gonna put your dick in another woman after a man has put his dick in her, in her butt and then you put your dick, like when I tell you, all of them, yes, all of you, I'm sorry, all of you, until you prove otherwise. That's why it's so important during these times to be posting stuff about so you can see the comments. Watch the people and what they're saying. See where their state of mind is. And if you're on the internet just saying shit so that you can get attention or engagement or something like that, that's weird as fuck. You're just saying like, that's not grooming. Like, shut up. Just shut up. Just shut up. I'm so tired of her from the moment she met Diddy. She's been after him. Somebody should be. It's because nobody, nobody was after him is the, so, is the reason why so many people are harmed. Not one person came to save anybody. The other Virgo tried to tell you was on his neck. Mace, he tried to tell y'all. He'd been trying to tell y'all. He's another one. He'd been talking shit loud too about Puffy. 
not paying those people. So not only is he like everything that is wrong with like your shadow, like the shat, like that's, he sits there, he resides there and he does all the things there and no one stopped him. His mother, I'm sorry. You ever heard of a mother taking out her, her cubs? Yeah, I'm taking you out. You're not gonna be able to do this. I'm sorry. And I feel like it's a mother's duty. Like, girl, you should have hit a long time ago. Your son? Yeah, you should have. Protect your energy, for real. Off with his motherfucking head. Yeah, we love and light, but bitch, we're all of that. We can flip real quick, bitch. It's nothing. And don't be a mutable sign, girl. I gotta go. That's our Diddy discourse. We're gonna come back and talk about some other stuff. Take care of each other, protect your energy. And I'm saying, like, that's the only thing I'm saying is it's like, sir, like self preservation that he would not have been able to reign that long. There, he did not have the right people like Misa. Did I mention Misa? Misa, Sher uh, all the people, all of them. And then the way they was acting big and bad, do we talk? Remember when Kimura was like, are y'all ready? Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Because he's behind bars now. You guys have some kind of safety. He might have people Still, of course, he has people on the outside who, like, to me, I feel like those are the weakest ones. I've always thought, even in movies and stuff like that, I've always thought the weakest niggas were the do boys for the evil dude. Like, I've always thought they were like, I, I, I just like, I never, I hope my sons never grow up to be a following ass nigga that you running around harming people for another motherfucker for some money really that's who you grew up to be girl a do boy oh my god i would be so ashamed what have i done my son is a do boy for puffy oh now if my son started got into like a, a loop like that and then took the motherfucker out i'd be like at a boy that's what the fuck yeah I, I had to take him out to save other people that's my baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be at the press conference. And I told him right, God damn it, down with all the microphones in the front. Yeah, Miss Mama, I told him right. You don't let evil reign for too long, bitch. You take their asses out, God damn it. Bring restoration to the fucking space. Restore the energy, bitch. This motherfucker is too evil. You see how mother took fucking... Red Bull gives you wings. She gave that motherfucker wings, bitch. You came in here causing too much destruction. Too much. Take his ass out. Off with your motherfucking head. Explode his goddamn heart in his chest, girl. Mother restores. And that's what's happening. So more people are going to come out and more people are going to be like, oh, well, I don't understand. Shut your ass up. You got good. You don't understand. You ain't meant to understand with your fucking feeble ass brain. And all the men and the women who excuse this shit, you on the wrong fucking side, you weak motherfuckers, you, you, you some weak bitches and weak motherfuckers, you just weak. How are you on, girl? I gotta go. I said I was going. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Nobody is coming to save you, bitch. As you can see, a motherfucker has been allowed to reign for 30 years. Nobody came to save anyone. Nobody. Everybody watched, nobody saved. Don't trust none of these niggas. Don't trust them. When I tell you, the motherfuckers will sit across from each other and look each other in the eye and be lying to each other. And the gag is they know that one another is lying to the other. That's how crazy that shit is. Take care of each other, protect your energy. Peace.